Hello YouTube, Sam here from youtube.com slash onlivegamer for the new Boston. And in this tutorial, we're going to be covering the else if and else statement. So in the last tutorial, we covered the if statement. Now let's go ahead and get started. We're going to start off by using console.writeline. And we'll just type, what is your name? And now we're going to create a variable called username and we're going to store the information that the user types in as username. So we'll declare username, so dim username as string and we'll set it equal to console.readline. So now what we want to do is we want to ask them for the password. So we'll just type console.writeline what is your password and we'll declare the password so dim password as string and it's equal to console dot read line okay so now what we want to do is we want to create an if statement to see if they typed in a name that is in let's say a list of possible names that can be logged in so if username equals Sam or not Sam uh, not same Sam then do something so if username is equal to Sam then we'll do console dot right line welcome Sam now we want to cover any other cases that could happen now we could do this with a bunch of if statements but that's not very efficient we can use what's called an else if statement so we just do this by typing else if username equals Tim so if username equals Tim then we want to do something so we'll just type console dot right line welcome Tim So basically, basically what we've done is if username is equal to Sam, then go ahead and say welcome Sam. But if username is equal to Tim, then say welcome Tim. And this is all in one if statement by using else if. In case somebody else tries to log in and we don't know who they are, we're just going to tell them that they have typed in an invalid name. Now to do this, we're going to type else. So else then go ahead and do the code that is inside in between else and end if. So what else does is it covers anything else that you did not cover. So if username equals Sam, then it's going to go ahead and do this. But else if username equals Tim, it'll do this. And if username equals anything else other than Sam or Tim, then go ahead and do whatever we type inside here. So we'll just type console dot right line. You are not a valid user. And then after our end if, we'll just do console dot read line, so that so that the user has time to see if they've been accepted or see if they type in the right name. So if we do what is your name, and I type in Sam, you'll say what is your password. I'll just type in the new Boston. It'll say welcome Sam, and then it won't say anything else after that because we haven't added anything that will handle the password. So now if we run that again, it'll say, what is your name? I'll type in Tim, or let's see, this is case sensitive. So Tim, it'll say, what is your password? Type in a bunch of stuff right there. It says, welcome Tim. Now if we type in anything else other than Sam or Tim, it's going to say, you are not a valid user. So we can do the same thing with our um, password. So if password equals the new Boston, then go ahead and let the user know that they have been granted access. So we'll just type console dot right line and we'll say 
congrats and then we'll just add their username so congrats username and then we'll say you have been granted access now this isn't very secure but it's just for the sake of this tutorial and let's say instead of you are not a valid user let's just say I don't know who you are so that way the person doesn't have to have the right username but if they have the let's say the administrator password then they can go ahead and log in so I don't know who you are so if we go ahead and run this say what is your name let's just say Sam what is your password type the new Boston it'll say welcome Sam congratulations Sam you have been granted access now what we need to do is add a space right here so that Sam isn't right next to that so now if we type an invalid username it'll say let's just do this and if we type in the new Boston you can see that we will get the output I don't know who you are and it'll say congrats ADAFA you have been granted access so go ahead and practice some else if statements and some else statements get familiar with that and then once you have that nailed down go ahead and move on to the next tutorial